Hi guys, welcome to day four of Mental Health Week. I am so tired. I've had a pounding headache for multiple days. And I'm just gonna make today short and sweet because I need it. <laughs> Today's all about resources. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about some apps, some websites, some helplines and some videos or people that you could follow on Instagram, YouTube, whatever, that talk about mental health or mental illnesses that are really good. I appreciate them and I feel like a lot of you guys will too. Fortunately, there are a lot of resources out there for people in multiple different forms, which is awesome. I want this video to help you guys make use of those resources or maybe use more of a specific kind of resource that you didn't even know was there in the first place. So beginning with apps, some of my favorite apps that I use for mental health and mental well-being are the following, and these are just a few. Again, I'm trying to keep this short and sweet, but if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them down below so people can read them, and maybe maybe if my suggestions don't... <laughs> uh, maybe if my suggestions don't work yours will work for somebody. The first app that I really love, and I haven't used it lately, but I used it a lot when I was really struggling with my body image and my eating habits, <laughs> it's called Rise Up. It focuses on taking care of yourself, and part of that does mean looking at what you're eating and tracking what you're eating, but in a very healthy way. Instead of just counting your calories, it's more about, hey, I ate today and that's really awesome. So some of the things that Rise Up has, like some of the features, they have a check-in, which is awesome. And you can actually like export it in a document. So if you're someone that likes journals, you can do like pretty much an online journal and then just print them off or put them in a document to keep in your document place drive. It also, like I said, has a meal log, which I did use for quite a bit. I enjoyed that because I was counting my calories when I was having my eating issues and I was always worried about what I was eating, how much of it I was eating and was it make, gonna make me gain weight and all of that. What this meal log did is it helped me track my food but in a really healthy way and not a self-destructive way because it has all these other features a part of the app like the check-ins and stuff I'm gonna show you guys <laughs> coming up. Another feature of this app is it gives you some coping skills for eating and body image and I think again that's really great because if you are going to work on tracking your food and your meals in a healthy manner you need to know how to do that and that's what the coping skills gives you. Some of the extras that you can get in this app as in these aren't necessarily tabs they're kind of in the extra tab you can actually set up reminders so remind yourself to log your meal or remind yourself to check in which is really, really good when you are recovering because it, one, helps you get in that habit and two, it just helps you think about it more during the day about how you're taking care of yourself and if you're being hard on yourself or if you're treating yourself really kindly and with respect and love. If you are a very private person and super freaked out about people on your phone, you can actually create a security pin so that you don't have to worry about someone hacking it. Not that I think a lot of people would, but if it is something that is very personal to you and you don't talk about to a lot of people, you might just enjoy knowing that that's an option that you can really make it private. You also can find support through it and then it also has some extra little resources like finding music, magazines, and podcasts. Another one of the apps that I really like to use is called Headspace. It's all about meditation and mindfulness and I actually use this to fall asleep a lot just to try and shut up my mind so that I can sleep because the voices are super calming. <laughs> I find that I sleep a lot better. And again, the voices are just so calming. There's something about the calming voices of someone doing meditation. I don't even fully listen to what they're saying or do what they're saying. I just like to listen to the voice because it's a lot smoother. Oh, it's a lot smoother and calmer and kinder than the voices that are going on and the thoughts that are going on up here. The next one is such an incredible app and I it's called calm harm probably should mention that it's called calm harm and I used it when I was still self-harming and even sometimes now if they just get really really bad I'll kind of log on and just play around with it because it 
it is such an incredible app and I don't even think you need to be someone who self-harms to use it. I think anyone could use it just for high intense uncontrollable emotions. What the features are of this app is like most apps you get a journal, a log just to say how you're doing today and I kind of talked about this in one of my self-harm videos that I did this with Frank where it was just checking in on myself even when I didn't think I was doing awful but just to see how I was doing and if I was doing awful take that taking that time to think about what the trigger might be and if there's a way I can lessen that trigger or deal with that trigger it also has kind of like rise up it has a get help tab so it lets you connect with someone if something is really bad and these aren't working you can also suggest an activity to do and i'll get into the activities in a second but that's kind of another one of those extra things and i think that's awesome because again just because something doesn't work for you doesn't mean it's not going to work for someone so the activities and this is what i mean this is why i don't think you need to be someone that self-harms to use this when you're in these high distress moments or high emotional moments it gives you a few apps that you're we're gonna get through it okay it gives you some apps no it gives you some activities that you can do that are known to be really de-stressing and to wind you down and bring you down from that emotional high some of those activities are comfort distraction so that one might be i think one i did with that was like think of every word in the room starting with a or something like just some really fun ones that just kind of get your mind going in a better direction than where it is going express yourself release and breathe and I like the breathing one because it gives you some really good breathing exercises so I'm just like I love the app I think it's an incredible app and I feel silly that I haven't recommended it recommended it to people sooner so some helplines that you can call or text when you're in distress. I actually started to put them at the end of my video so that they're always there for you guys if you needed them. But I just kind of wanted to talk about them a little bit more. So for the UK, not that I think anyone from the UK or anywhere but Canada slash Ontario is going to be watching this, but whatever, maybe, maybe somebody finds this. So for UK, the UK company is called Shout. All you have to do is text SHOUT to 85258 and then just text STOP to end the, end the conversation whenever you're done talking or you feel like you're done talking. For the US, all you have to do is text HOME to, oh I didn't put the name of that place. Oh I can't remember the company's name, apparently I forgot to write it. Anyways, you just have to text HOME to 741741. Um, the first two texts are automated so just so Again, if anyone's watching this that's in the US, just so that you guys know. And just like most places, a crisis counselor is volunteered with some training, but they are not a professional. It only takes about an average of five minutes to connect, depending on how crazy things are. Like right now, I'm sure it would be a little bit longer than five minutes, just because a lot of people are going through some really tough times. Australia, the name of the company is called Lifeline. And to call them, it's just 13 11 14, or text is 0477 13 11 14 to 6 p.m. till 12 a.m. And of course, Canada Kids Help Phone. Hey, I have one right up here too. <laughs> I knew there was a number I was forgetting and it's actually right here. I swear this wasn't planned. All you have to do is text CONNECT to 686 868. First few texts will be automated again crisis counselor is a trained volunteer but not a professional and you just have to text stop to end the conversation the phone number for kids help phone to call them is 1-800-668-6868 and what's really cool about kids help phone is it doesn't have to be a phone you can do it on the computer through their website you can do it on a few different things i saw i didn't write them down but if you don't have a cell phone if you have a computer or a tablet there are ways that you could still get connected with them through phone and then the other one, so I'll show you guys, hold on. I've got this. So that's the here 24 seven. So that's also another number you could text. And I just wanted to let you guys know, I knew there was one I was forgetting. So I'm happy that I realized it was here. So some websites that I have found useful, jack.org. 
It's also a foundation, I'm pretty sure, and they do some speaking, but they've got some really good like stories and resources on there. Another one is Anxiety Panic Support, Befrienders.org, and WW... Oh, I'm saying them like all different, that's gonna bother me, but... Sevencups.com. Jeez. Alright, so I didn't want to just specify specific videos, but I did want to give you guys some good people to subscribe to that I find really helpful. There are so many, so I I encourage you guys to look up some videos and try and find some of your own. So I really like watching Crash Course. It gives you some really good like insight into psychology and it's so fun to watch. Like it's just, I feel like that's why a lot of people don't talk about mental health is because they feel so rigid about it. But Crash Course shows you that you don't have to be rigid and you can actually have fun. Another good channel to subscribe Another good channel to subscribe to is TED Talks. <laughs> and you can also go on their website and look at the videos there. But yeah, TED Talks are just I I I I love TED Talks, okay? I love them. So that's a really good one to maybe look at. Specifically Brene Brown. So good. I like watching Brene Brown. Mm -hmm. I like watching Brene Brown very much. Another good one that I have loved since grade 7 or 8 is actually the Dove channel. <laughs> they just post such feel-good videos about mental health and mental well-being and how we see ourselves and how we act in the world and just if they they just really make you think but again not in a scary overwhelming way just in like a huh that was really good to think about or like I'm I'm really glad someone told me to think about that or made me think about that so check out Dove videos especially if you're a girl they've got some really good ones on like being a female and being empowered by being a female finally people you should follow on Instagram I have always enjoyed following body posy panda I will try and link everyone's Instagrams down below and if I don't here I'll do it on my Instagram which is going to be somewhere in here. She's all about self-love and body image so she had a, an eating disorder, really bad anorexia. She's just this bundle of joy and vulnerability. I just feel really good whenever she posts. It's always something really feel good even if it is just her going I'm not doing well guys and it's just it feels good for someone to actually say that and not just be like the day is not going well but actually going like I am oh I'm kind of going into it because it's like yeah thank you like that's exactly how I'm feeling another good account seems strange but I like following Ashley Graham she's a plus size model and it's not like every one of her posts is about body confidence but it's just it's just you can see her living her best life and sometimes you don't need someone to just sit down and talk to you sometimes you just need someone to show you how it's done and I'm sure she struggles and she does talk about still struggling sometimes yeah she's she's good so again I wanted to keep it somewhat short but if I think of any more people or things I will obviously link them down below and let you guys know but yeah, again, please share yours, your resources, your things that you go to when you need a little pick-me-up or just someone to connect with, even if it's not actually, like, talking to, but you just feel like watching them or following them is so good for you. I hope you guys don't mind that today's video was short. I am just very drained and it's getting dark out, so yeah. Anyways, there are so many resources out there and I really hope you guys take this time and let this video inspire you to go use some of those resources, especially now. I am so appreciative of you guys and for you guys being so patient with me. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow for day five. It's going slow but fast. Sending love and hugs and all the positive vibes. Bye guys. Thank you.